Hello, everybody. This is Bumpy Gaming back here once again. Today, we're going to do a little something different here on the channel. Um, first of all, I want to thank you all for helping me reach 300 subscribers. And since the Shuffle Warehouse video was supposed to be a 200 sub special, but that didn't go up till after I reached 300. So this is for my actual 300 sub special. And um, as, as many of you may know, um, Sonic Frontiers is coming out soon. Or maybe it's already out by the time this goes up. Who knows? But either way, I'm not going to delay the color challenge video just so I can incorporate it in there. Uh, anyways, um, if any of you guys watch Nathaniel Bandy, you may notice a series of videos he does where he goes through every Mario game without touching a certain color. So, like, don't touch red, green, yellow, blue, etc., etc. So I thought I would do something similar where I try to go through every Sonic game without touching the color blue. So yeah, I feel like it should be interesting. Okay, first game, of course, is... Well, it doesn't look like much. It's Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Classics, but here is where I have, like, Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. I got the normal 3, and then the Steam version lets you play with mods, so I got Sonic and Knuckles on there. Yeah, so I got that covered. So, so we're going to do Sonic 1 first, obviously, and... This game I like using as my Sega Genesis emulator because it has a rewind feature. Sega. Whereas most Genesis emulators like Kega Fusion typically don't, from what I understand. And plus, you know, I'm officially supporting Sega this way, so yeah. Alright, here's Sonic 1, don't touch blue. And of course, Sonic himself won't count because... Yeah, I should go over the guidelines. Like, anything in the in the background won't count. Like, those flowers, you could argue have a bit of blue on them. They're mainly purple. You could argue there's a bit of blue on them. Okay, that motobug has blue. Avoid that. Okay, that buzz bomber has blue, so... Yeah, normally I would go, like, right for that. Okay. Okay, the crab meat has no blue, so... The flicky did the flicky does me touching that flicky does not count because it has to be something I interact with in order for it to count. That flicky is not something I interact with. Is that okay? No, that 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 stone is more purple than blue. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there are some things in this. I know Nathaniel Banny when he does color challenges lately, he's kind of. I feel lately he's been stretching the boundaries as what counts as a color touch and what doesn't. I think in, like, a don't touch purple, like, some of the things that he counted, like, bordered on being pink more than they were purple, or something like that. Yeah, that's something he does, like, in his, some of his later color challenges. Oh, we cannot touch that checkpoint. That's got blue on there. We gotta go under here. Uh, is, is that blue? Is that... Uh, there's a bit of blue on there. Okay, that motobug is blue. It feels weird playing Sonic 1 like this. Really, any Sonic game where you can't go fast. No, oh, no! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, uh, gotta hold to exit. Well, uh, that turned out to be a doozy, so now we're gonna do Sonic 2. I mean, you know, that rewind feature wouldn't have even been of much use to us anyway. You know, Sonic was going so fast, he would have touched the goalpost no matter what. Anyways, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, here we go. This is actually my favorite Sonic game ever made. Yes, I like it better than Sonic 3 and any of the modern games, I am not sorry. Okay, I did not mean for that to happen. Alright, there we go. Alright, and same rules apply. If if I touch anything that's blue that I can interact with, then... Again, that flicky doesn't... Oh, no, no, that's blue. That's blue. Though, really, I was only touching the monitor part of it, so... We're gonna jump over that. Wait, did that have blue? No, it did not. It did not have blue. No! Oh, there's Coconuts the Monkey, which... Actually, I can kill, because... Oh, we are... I got worried for a second, but we're doing fine. Dun, 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 dun. 
we're doing. Maybe maybe we'll actually complete the level this time, or even a whole zone for that matter. Okay, that. Okay, yeah, that that did not have blue on it, so we're good. I see. I forget. Is there really anything around here that's blue aside from potential buzz bombers? All right. Okay, good. We completed a level. And I don't think that really counts either, because at the time, by the time we reached the goal, like, like, like it, it didn't really, like, by the time it turned blue, we were already way past the goalpost. So we're good there. Okay. Just gonna, oh, coconuts! Damn you! But yeah, you know, add this to, to another to another reason why Sonic 2 is my favorite Sonic game ever made. Okay, that water does not count because it's in the background, so... Yeah, I'm going to be reiterating a lot of these rules, probably. Okay, that goalpost has no blue, so... Well... Yeah, see, I don't have motivation to cut parts of the video out. Did... Did that count as touching? Yeah, yeah, okay, that counts. That I think that does count, so moving on to the next game. All right, so now we're doing Sonic CD. This actually isn't the original version. This is the version that's on Sonic Origins. You want to know how you can tell? That. Though for this, we're going to do Sonic because, you know, we want to be as close to the original game as possible. I know there's like a classic mode in here, but uh, I just think this version of the game is more accessible because it doesn't have a life system. Anywho, um, I digress. Actually, is there a way to clear my save data? Uh, yeah, yeah, start new game. I probably should have done this before I filmed it. Normally I'd skip this cutscene, but you know what? I like this so goddamn much, I think I'm gonna leave it. Anyways, yeah, Sonic Origins. Uh, I, <laughs> this game got a very interesting reception from people. I, myself, made the mistake of buying the Steam version, where the menus lag like a bitch. The games themselves perform fine, it's just the menus are such a hassle to get through. Like, it's actually less of a hassle. Like, if you want to go from one game to the next, like, it's actually less of a hassle to... Or even, like, when you want to exit the game, it's actually less of a hassle to close the window than to actually exit the game within the game itself. Like, it's not ideal in the slightest, but the fact that it's, like, and that fucking... And I heard the Steam version of Sonic Frontiers is gonna have Denuvo injected in it. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, I'm really hoping there's a mod for Origins on the Steam version that removes Denuvo. If such a thing exists, please let me know. But yeah, I... Because I regretted buying the Steam version, we're playing the PS5 version now. It doesn't change how average the collection is, but it's it is. I'll take what I can get at this point. All right, let's try not to touch blue here. Okay, there's there's oh, there's really no blue here. Uh, okay, there's no blue. That's good. Alright. Oh! Yeah, that, that uh, checkpoint was blue. Okay, next game. Well, I'm doing all the Genesis games in one take, so I have no idea how Sonic CD turned out just yet, so now we're moving on to Sonic 3. Well, granted, this is Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but still, it is Sonic 3 to some extent, since Sonic and Knuckles was its own game, so... Alright, let, let, let's do this. I'm gonna do a no-save this time. And, we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll play as Sonic, you know, to eliminate some blue. D oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Give me a sec. Okay, that should be better. There we go. 
of watch this uh, cutscene play out. Oh. But what happened to that song lyric? I'm Knuckles, unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. Okay, the, okay, yeah, that thing is blue on it, and this flower I cannot interact with, so it doesn't count. No! Okay, no, that was more silver than blue, so I, that, that does not count at all. Oh wait, was that water blue? Was that water blue? Hold on. Yeah, I think that water was... I mean, water video games typically is blue. Unless it's like Chemical Plant Zone, you know, then it's purple. But yeah, no, that, I, I think that is... I think that definitely... I don't want to seem like I'm stretching here, but I think that might count as blue. Only on account of it be, let, let me Let me get a better analysis of the frame here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if the water there is blue, then... Then, then the water down there is definitely it definitely counts as blue. So, so, so next game we've already failed this challenge. All right. So going into the mod section, like I said before, we got Sonic and Knuckles. You know, fun fact: uh, the reason Sonic and Knuckles exists is because of a McDonald's promotion for Sonic Three. Like like, so, like 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 the McDonald's promotion was done so I think it was done like so late in the de in the development that Sega couldn't delay the game. Like Sega Sega couldn't delay the game to add the extra elements from Sonic and Knuckles into Sonic Three, so they made it two separate games. Yeah, you, you know, just so they could meet the McDonald's promote. Did I touch any blue there? Okay, no, I did not. They, those were just blue mushrooms in the in the foreground, not the well foreground in the sense that I can't interact with it. Like they're. Well, actually, this blue mushroom's in the back of me, but yes. Okay, that enemy has blue on it, so try to avoid that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this thing. Yeah, that enemy has blue, so... Yeah, I just thought that was interesting to mention about the McDonald's. I'm not sure it came out right, but... Okay, that enemy has blue, so avoid that. Yeah, Sonic and Knuckles seems to have a case of, uh, blue balls or something. I don't fucking know. Blue spheres, how about that? <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, that, uh, blue touch... That, that, uh, I know that enemy touched me before, but that does not count because... Because I was still invincible when it happened. See, look, I'm not getting hurt, even though he might have just clipped me. Okay, we're going down here. Because that enemy is, is a blue enemy. Okay, there we go. Just, just pull yourself up there. Yeah, I did not touch anything blue, so you know, it's a good thing all those blue mushrooms were uh, were back. Did that enemy have blue on it? No, it did not. Yeah, it was all it was like yellow and silver. If this, yeah, thank God we're not doing a don't touch yellow challenge because. Actually, I wouldn't have even been screwed there. I would have been screwed at, like, the rings! Also, look at my... Speaking of rings, look at my ring count. That's funny. Yeah, so I have to touch something that's, like, explicitly blue or whatever the, ch whatever the color challenge is for that video for it to count. Yeah, this level would be a nightmare in a don't touch red challenge. You know, all these mushrooms and shit. 
Wait, 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 I wanna see what the goalpost looked like. Okay, 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 uh, it was... Oh, come on! Probably lost the challenge already without even knowing it. Okay, there is... Uh... Maybe? Like, at the bottom there? Uh, is that, is that blue? Well, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. Is that blue? Yeah, see, now I'm starting to see why Nathaniel Bandy tends to stretch sometimes. Uh, I guess we can go ahead. Yeah. You know, maybe I can edit this video. Maybe I can edit this video differently if, uh, if that actually is blue. Oh, it doesn't matter, because we're at a... Okay, well, now it doesn't even matter anyway, because that enemy is blue. So now I, like, can't even hit it. We, we, we might softlock ourselves here. I don't remember if I have to, like, explicitly beat this guy up or something. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that, yeah, I, uh... Actually, no, is that... Yeah, that's definitely more blue than the bottom of the goalpost, so, uh... Next game. Alright, so now we're getting into Sonic Adventure 1 here. And we're gonna start with Sonic's campaign, though, to be honest, we're probably kinda screwed here, considering Chaos is our first boss fight. So, sorry about the weird texturing on Sonic's eyes. I'm using a new Dreamcast emulator called Flycast, and not Redream. Redream is the better emulator for sure, but recently Redream has been having issues on my PC, like, like, like some graphical issues, maybe I could bam image flash some of them. And oh, supposedly the way to fix it is to update your AMD drivers. Oh, at least that's what the people in the Redream Discord said. Yeah, at which I updated my AMD drivers, but yet it's still having graphical issues, so then I just thought, oh, yeah. fuck it, I'll use Flycast. This is happening. Yeah, see, Sonic's eyes look fine here, it's just in... Well, now they don't, but... Honestly, I'll take this over the games being virtually unplayable on Redream. At least Redream for PC, What's um... Up? Redream for Android does not have these issues. And I mean, I I don't want to... But the thing is, I don't want to go through the trouble of hooking up my tablet to my computer. Like, through the capture card. Yeah, see... This is what I'm talking about here. We're probably screwed because chaos is blue. And I have to sit through this because, for some reason, this doesn't let me skip the cutscenes. Which is a little annoying if you really want to get into the game, but whatever. Ready? Fire! <laughs> look at those, look at those, uh, dinky ass bullets. Ugh. I'm filming this really early in the morning, so I am a little tired. It's like, it's like less than 30 degrees out this morning, so getting colder. Yeah, Sonic's eyes. But yeah, I'm probably screwed here because a lot of chaos is blue. Maybe might as well grab these rings here. Yeah, so we're we're, we're pretty much soft locked here. Maybe if I do like a don't touch yellow challenge, I'll do the Tails campaign for this. And for don't touch red, I'll do Knuckles. Don't touch pink, I'll do Amy. And so on. Yeah, so I think we're screwed here. Might as well just get it over with now. Next game. Alright, Sonic Adventure 2 is next up here on the Don't Touch Blue Challenge. I'm gonna make a new file for this. Yeah, I already played some of this to make sure it ran on... To make sure there weren't any graphical problems. And so far there aren't, except for... Ex except for, like, the... In City Escape with, with with the truck, like like some of the graphics get distorted. So, story select. All right, we're doing the hero story for this, of course. You know, if I ever do maybe a Don't Touch Black, I could do the dark story, or Don't Touch Sigma Red, two, something like that. South over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is can I skip this cutscene? Yes, I can. Add that to the list of reasons why Adventure 2 is considered better than Adventure 1. Alright, City Escape, Don't Touch Blue. Attention all units. 
Try to avoid blue. Rolling around at the speed of... Oh, wow, I almost touched that blue. Was that blue? I hope not. I'll, I might analyze it later. Oh, wait, am I technically touching... You know, this, the, the, the skateboard does have some blue on it, I feel. But... Since it's a since it was already part of Sonic, I guess we can eliminate it. Oh, oh, I think these I think these steps are blue. Let me see if I can Was that enemy blue? I don't know. Okay, well these steps are blue, so let's see if I can grind up here. It's gonna be really awkward, but Oh! Yeah, I think I think I did it. Prove it to you. I might have touched the blue of those steps. Doesn't seem like I did, but eh. oh, there's there's so much blue. To sacrifice a damn checkpoint. Oh, oh yeah. No, I, I definitely touched blue. Yeah. Mm mm mm. Yeah, we uh, failed the challenge. All right, next game. All right, next up for the Don't Touch Blue challenge is Sonic Heroes. Let's blast through with Sonic Speed! Okay! All right! All right! I was hoping it would cut out when Knuckles said all right, so it would be like, all right! Can I skip this cutscene? Yes, I can. Forgot how good the CGI was in these cutscenes, though. All right. Gonna try not to touch blue. And I'll probably play a Sonic a lot of a lot just to eliminate some blue. And that'll include when I'm controlling Tails and Knuckles. Like touching Sonic won't count. Oh no! Leave it to me. Oh god, maybe I could do this something like this with Tails, because those springs have blue on them. Let's go! Or not. Wait, maybe I could Let's go! This slightly higher. Maybe. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, there we go. Let's go! Okay, those platforms have blue on them, so try not to Let's touch go. the blue parts! Let's go. Okay. Got it. Oh, we're actually doing better than I expected. Uh, those don't have... Okay, those do not have blue on them. But that does. No. Oh! Oh, damn it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's... There was definitely blue there. And over here, so, um, next game. Now loading. <sighs> this game knows a thing or two about loading, doesn't it? Sega. Oh, yeah. We're, uh, we're going there, folks. Oh, screen tearing. Gotta fix that. Yeah, boys, uh, Sonic 06 is next for the, for our color challenge video. Oh, God. And I, good thing is I got my PS3 up and running again, so. Yeah, for a while I couldn't get the HDMI thing to work, but it's working now, so all good. Single player. Okay, I can only play as Sonic anyway. Actually, is it possible to skip this cutscene? Yes, it is. Because I know if you die in this game, then it'll just send you right back to the cutscene. And then you gotta sit through the loading screens and all that other BS. I heard the loading times are actually reduced on, like, emulators. Well, I'm gonna wait till PS3 and Xbox 360 emulators are more optimized for dinky-ass computers like mine. It's probably not gonna be for another decade or so. Who knows, maybe there will be some actually good Sonic games again after that. I know it's a kind of mean to say, but eh. What's Eggman up to? I need to gather some information. Well, I actually kind of, oh, okay, here's Tails. Loading.
Man, this fucking game. Tails. Long time no see. And I ain't got a long time to sit through these fucking loading screens. Yeah, I might wait till PS3 and Xbox 360 emulators are more optimized in the future. That way I don't have to sit through these loading screens. Yeah, I might wait. I, I, like, don't touch yellow, don't touch red, all those other ones. Like, those can wait until... Uh, <sighs> okay, well, I actually kind of forgot who I needed to talk to. You, you having fun there, Tails? <laughs> I got stuck in the bear. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. I think I just soft-locked myself there. Well, actually, maybe I can work around this and maybe not touch any of the blue circles here. I can... What? Come on. Why am I moving so slow suddenly? I hope that blue didn't touch me. The a nice store in this town. Is this the- is he the owner? I think. <sighs> Where the hell is this stuff? You know, it's been a while since I've actually had- since I've actually had the audacity to play 06. Wait, the boy said something about the store, if this camera will- there's a lot of interesting things, so I always come to look. Oh, this must be the store. Hey. Well, he sticks out like a sore th Oh, I need a hundred rings. Oh, God. Where am I gonna get a hundred rings, huh? You know, thank God we're not doing a Don't Touch Yellow challenge. Because I wouldn't even be able to, to, to like, do that. I I'd be screwed from the get-go. Uh, who do I talk to about the rings again? That is fucking stupid. Uh, maybe hey. we haven't seen anything like that. No, 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 no. Maybe this has a challenge. Hey. Yellow icon show people who want to talk to you. Orange icon show people who have valuable hints. Blue icon show people who are looking for help. Okay, I guess I can. And, yo, it won't even count, because I'm not touching the blue icon. Alright. Custom shoes. Alright. Yeah, I think this sounds about right. And, yo, the, the fact that he's right... He's, like, literally right next to the, to the store owner. You know, I keep calling this game Sonic 06, but since I'm playing the PS3 version, shouldn't I refer to this game as Sonic 07? Because the PS3 version came out in January of 2007? I mean, really. And not just that, but, uh, you know, people say, man, Sonic 06 was terrible, but Sonic 07 would have been amazing. Well, the PS3 version technically is Sonic 07, and it's still not good. I need a loading screen just to... God, I really dread the day I gotta do a Let's Play of this. Like, if I think Nicktoons Unite is fucking terrible, I'm not prepared for this! Okay. Alright. Wait, where are the- okay, here are the rings. Well, well am, I am I gonna get, like, yellow rings? Or gold rings, or whatever the fuck. Oh, and I need a loading screen. Oh, that, that is, like, so abrupt that it just goes right to the damn loading screen. And at least I wasn't touching any blue, I don't think. <laughs> wow, I almost forgot this was a Don't Touch Blue video. Ugh. Where do I even find rings, anyway? Yeah.
I might as well just sit through here. Since I'm pretty much stalling with this damn game. Rank? That was incredible! Well I mean it wasn't that it wasn't really that special, Sonic. Who are you calling not special? Oh, uh, s s s Sonic. Uh, what 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 are you what are you doing here? You better say good things about my games, man. Or else November eighth will not go well for you. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Sonic 06 is the best game ever made. Oh, now I have a thousand rings. Lovely. Hey. You know, I'm gonna be honest. There is. Oh wow, I just got a thousand rings randomly, just for... Oh, whatever. Yeah, I gotta say, I am I still have mixed feelings on Frontier. What, what I've seen of it looks really great, and people who have played it, like conventions and stuff, say it's pretty good, but I'm not holding my breath that's gonna be a great game after how Forces turned out. I'm still optimistic about it, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. What I've seen does look pretty fun. I don't think it, I don't think it's gonna save the franchise, but well, I mean, Colors and Generations already saved the franchise, but yet it was destroyed again when Sonic Boom came out. So really, anything's possible. But I'm not gonna lie, there is a part of me that there is a part of me that kind of wants Frontiers to be as bad as o as this game, only to see what the backlash would be like then. Like imagine the backlash like the, like that Frontiers got when IGN revealed the janky gameplay footage, but ten times worse. Okay, how do I do this? I have to make sure I don't touch the blue of this. When you get close to a trail of rings, press the square button to do a light dash. Thank you, Tails. Imagine having Tails' voice on your GPS. <laughs> okay, I did not touch the blue of that, so we're good. Kyla. Okay, Wave Ocean. This might be a bit of a challenge, because there's a bunch of water, and water is blue. Sorry that took a while, folks. I mean, it's Sonic 06. What else did you really... Sonic 07. What else did you really expect? Yeah, I'm going to run that Sonic 07 joke into the ground. I can hurry and save Elise. Wow, I didn't even have time to... Oh, oh. Okay, the water is blue, and I'm touching blue. Ugh. God, I forgot how janky these controls are. Okay, well, I'm fucked, so next game. Alright, uh, next up in our color challenges is Sonic Unleashed. I'm gonna continue without saving here. This is actually my first time booting up the, the Xbox 360 game of Sonic Unleashed. I'm playing this on the Series S. And I've never actually played this version of the game before. As a kid, I had it on PS2, and then I had it on the Wii. Which, I upgraded from the Wii. Which, that's not really an upgrade compared to... Okay, I'm gonna skip through these cutscenes. It... I gotta wait for a little while to actually skip through them. Okay. Alright, Sonic Unleashed Don't Touch Blue, so I cannot touch that hint thing. Already that's giving me flashbacks to Vietnam. I mean Sonic 06. Okay, and there's no blue on the ground here. Oh, there might be blue over there. Uh, is there blue? No, no, that's more gray, it looks like. Sonic! Sonic! Chip. Or Light Gaia. Okay, there's no blue here, so I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, these rocks only look blue, I think, because of the light. Oh, I might have touched the blue on that. Damn it. Uh, I actually... I don't know. Maybe I'll analyze that later. Then I'll release an, an uncut version of this. Oh, that spring might have blue on it, so... then it, So, like, then it won't even matter. Yeah, this, does this spring have blue? Yes, it does. Alright, so I think we're screwed here. Maybe. Uh, you know, I might as well touch it at this point. You know, just rip the band-aid if the game will fucking let me. 
And... Oh, what? I'm pressing the A, but isn't the A button what... What makes me, uh, you know... T come on! Oh, maybe I actually have to touch that. Ah, oh, there we go. And I just touched blue. Next game. Alright, next up in our color challenge is Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Oh boy. Heard this game doesn't really control the best. Okay, yeah, that's fine. New game. Yeah, we're not doing a playthrough, so I don't need this save. <laughs> Look at Sonic awkwardly walking. Ah, motor Oh, that motorbug was blue, so we've already failed the challenge. Well, I didn't even want to play this anyway, so next game. Alright, our next game here is Sonic Colors, which I'm playing on Dolphin Emulator. It was also what I used to play Sonic Heroes. I'm actually doing both this and Heroes in the same take. So, I don't know how Unleashed or 06 turned out yet, as of me recording this. Or even Sonic CD, for that matter. I even filmed The Lost World before I did this. And there, I erroneously mentioned... I erroneously mentioned that, um... I... I, I did... I haven't done everything from Adventure 1 to 4 Episode 2. But CD came out before Adventure 1, so... Okay, now I'm just rambling at this point. So, Sonic Colors don't touch blue. Hello, Sonic. Navigator off. Alright, Act 1, Tropical Resort, and... Whoa, look at that! We're, uh, we're already fucked. Okay, next game. Okay, so next up we got Sonic Generations, and I'm not gonna start a new game for this, because I've already gotten pretty far, so I don't want to jeopardize my save data. Okay, let's continue here. Okay, and Green Hill... Yeah, we're gonna do Act 1 here with Classic Sonic. Alright, oh! Okay, good, good, I jumped over Omochao, who is blue. Oh, well actually, that Motobug doesn't really have blue on it, compared to other Motobugs, so... Well, it doesn't matter now, because I jumped over it. And that enemy does not have blue, so, we so we're doing good so far. You know, little did we know back in 2011 that Sega would be overly reliant on Classic Sonic. Oh! Oh, that crab meat has blue on his eyes. Let's see if I can touch a part of him that isn't blue! Okay, I think I, I, think I got that. I hope. Okay, that Buzz Bomber's blue. We cannot touch him. Though none of the motobugs are blue. You know, if, if this were Sonic 1 or... Any other Sonic game where the motobugs are blue, we'd be screwed. Oh, that spring probably had blue on it, but... Wait, did that checkpoint have... Did that checkpoint have blue? Probably. When I get to the next checkpoint, we'll, we can verify. Well, how can I be careful, Omochao, when I just touched blue? Okay, that stuff has green on it. Springs are yellow. Oh, I probably just touched Omochao, didn't I? I don't even know why I'm continuing this, knowing I probably did just touch blue. Okay, the spring is red. That's yellow. Okay, the extra life monitor is blue. We cannot... Oh, maybe we could. You know, it's not like... It's not like I'm touching the blue part of it. I'm only touching the monitor, which is gray. <clears throat> yeah, I hope there's another checkpoint here so I can ver- Okay! Yeah, I definitely saw blue on that checkpoint. I definitely saw blue. Yeah, so, um, we're gonna move on to the next game. Alright, next we're doing Sonic 4 Episode 2. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, single player. Yeah, this and like with Unleashed, this is actually my first time playing Sonic 4 Episode 2 
like booting it up on my Series S. And also, just really my first time playing Sonic 4 in general. And I heard a rumor a while ago saying there might be a Sonic 5. We'll uh, see how that turns out. Yeah, you know, the walking animation, it looks fine with, with Classic Sonic in the Genesis games. Okay, that spring is blue. Looks fine with Classic Sonic in the Genesis games, but it's just awkward as hell. Oh, actually, maybe I could... Maybe I could not touch the blue of that. I think we did it. I think we succeeded with that. Okay, let's see if I can touch the back of the spring here. Uh, I guess I can count that. Okay, I can't really interact with that, so I'm not technically touching blue. Okay, we we jumped over that. Oh, but uh, we gotta... We have to, like, actually touch it to get through, I think. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, we just failed the challenge anyway, so next game. Alright, next up on the challenge is Sonic Lost World, and this is the Steam version. I'm doing all those Steam games in one go, so... Anything from Adventure 1 to, I think, 4, Episode 2, something like that? Yeah, every everything between those two, I have no idea how those turned out yet. So, we're gonna do Sonic Lost World here for this color challenge. Alright, try not to touch- those motorbugs have blue, so I'm not going near though. The water is blue. That snail has- the motorbugs have blue! Did that have blue on it? I don't know. Oh wait, I think- oh, I think that did have blue. I mean, I'll probably change it around in post, but just in case. Maybe I'll release an uncensored version of this. Oh! Oh, well, now it doesn't even matter. Next game. Alright, our second to last game of this video is Sonic Mania. The true Sonic 4, if you will. Now, what I said before about Classic Sonic being a crutch in the Generations part of the video, like, this game and combined with Classic Sonic being shoehorned into Forces, that's where Sega really started being over-reliant on Classic Sonic. You know, that's what led to the Sonic Mania Adventures uh, cartoons where, and subsequent Sonic cartoons, where every other frame would get turned into a meme. You know, I thought it was fine at first, but by the time they got to Tails choking on a chili dog, it just wasn't funny anymore. Yeah, Dow felt like they were doing it on purpose, trying to be like, Ooh, look at how self-aware we are! Hooba dooba! I'm gonna do a no-save with only Sonic. <laughs> and you listen, you know, Sonic Mania is a truly great game. There's no denying that, it's just what it led to that just really makes me, um, uncomfortable, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, you know, at the time of me recording this, we're just mere days away from Frontier's release, so let's see how that turns out. Oh, and here's another. We're about to go to another place that Sega relies on a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, Green Hill Zone. And they shoehorned this into Frontier's from what I've seen, so... So, let, so let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm not touching the blue part of the monitor, so I can do that. The motorbugs have blue, so avoid them. Oh! Uh, did that... Uh, I might have failed the challenge. Maybe. I mean, yeah, the... the oh, okay, well, I touched the buzz bomber anyway, so... So now it doesn't even... It doesn't even matter. Uh, maybe I'll just wait for this invincibility to go- Okay, in the checkpoint. Yeah, I'll just wait for this invincibility to stop, and then we'll- then we'll go to the next game. And now, we've reached the finale. Until Frontiers comes out, that is, and I make more color challenges, but... For now, we've reached, uh, the cream of the crop. The... I guess you could say the bad omen of the franchise. The second Bad Omen after 06. I mean, this game wasn't nearly as bad, but... Although, I guess maybe Rise of Lear... It doesn't matter. Uh... 
I think I'll do new game. Yeah. The existing save data will be deleted. It's Sonic Forces. I really don't give a shit. Be normal for beginners who haven't played a Sonic game before. Shouldn't there be an easy mode then? Hard for those who have played a Sonic game before. Shouldn't that be normal mode and hard would be like... For those who want a bit of a challenge. Yeah, anyways. I'm just bitching on at this point. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna skip this cutscene. Green Hill. Uh, we just went over this in the mania part of the video. Oh, I hope there's no blue- OH! Uh, as long as you have at least one ring, you'll survive when you- You know, just to play it safe, I'm gonna do this! Okay, I'm, that I'm not touching blue. I don't think. I... Oh! Okay, what else is... Okay, the wisps are blue, so don't go near those. Better kick things up a notch. Yeah, if this ends up being the first level in Frontiers, I I might lose it. Oh, the spring! Ah, well, we were screwed there anyway. So, well, I yeah, we didn't get a single score in the color challenge except for. Maybe Sonic 2, I think, where we actually clear. I I could I could swear we cleared at least one level in one of the games. Now I kind of forget, but anyways, yeah, that was every Sonic game. Don't touch the color blue challenge, or at least every Sonic game until Frontiers comes out. But yeah, that was yeah that was the challenge, and um, you know, I'll maybe I'll make a separate don't touch blue video for Sonic Frontiers. We'll see. I do want to do a first impressions video on it. Oh, man. But, yes. Don't touch the color blue. Every Sonic game. So, um, till next time, this is Bumpy Gaming going back under the bed. And remember, there are fates worse than death. Such as being the person who wrote Tales to be such a pussy in this game. You know, fucking, you know, Sonic Adventure 1, he takes on Chaos 4 just fine, yet... Here in Sonic Forces, he goes, Sonic, help me, when he sees Chaos Zero. You know, I wonder what Tails himself would think of the writing in this game. The script writing of Sonic Forces? Are you seriously asking me how I feel about that? I think we all know how I personally feel about Sonic Forces writing. For example, I fought Eggman by myself. I fought Chaos before by myself. And that wasn't even his Chaos Zero form. It, it, it's stupid.